Just boarded. the water there'll be a view there's Bridget she's hanging out we're about to get changed we have a whole balcony so that will be pretty sick oh we have a full mirror travel clothes I cannot wait to change oh and I didn't even notice we have a TV about to snuggle in bed whole little setup we're in Europe Baby, this is so cool. A closet, oh, there's robes. And a nice bathroom with a double vanity. This is nice, I'm excited. We're about to ride in style for the week. Okay, so we are going to go into Rome now. We're gonna get changed. And I think, where are we getting dropped off? Trevi Fountain. Okay, so we're getting dropped off at like the Trevi Fountain area and I'm struggling to get the right angle but um anyway so we're gonna get dropped off at like the Trevi Fountain and then we're gonna do that Christmas market we do not have to be back on the boat tonight at like any specific time so we can see like the Christmas market at night which will be really pretty lit up ice skating um, I really want to go ice skating it's um at the airport, the weather was, like, very pleasant, and then here it's very brisk because it's, like, literally on the water, so I think I'll bring, like, a coat and stuff, but anyways, I'm excited, and I'm really ready to change and freshen up, so. Dressed and ready. Fit check. Very Christmassy. <laughs> Pretty cool. 
gelato, stracciatella, and something I don't know how to pronounce. Pretty cool. Pretty good. It is Monday morning, right? And we are eating some breakfast. We are about to get the day started. I'll flip you around and show you. Just stopped in really quick. There's the water. <coughs> I think we are going ice skating today. We did not go yesterday. We ended up um, going, we saw the Charvy Fountain. We saw, what else did we see? We went to a Christmas market. Pantheon. Pantheon, we saw that, which was beautiful. We got gelato. And got pizza. We didn't actually eat that much. I'd like to eat more today. That's the goal. So um, today should be another good day. Weather's good. It did get cold last night, so I've dressed appropriately in a coat, but <coughs> um, cloudy. Happy it's not raining. So I think that's it. We have to be back tonight. Last night we didn't get back till around like. Oh my gosh, like 9.30 or 10, we took, that was a bit of a story. We left the boat and were told that we could just like get a taxi really easy to Rome, which is about an hour away. And <laughs> there was no like taxi stand anywhere. So we were like, hey, like, can you call us a taxi? And they said no. So then we were like, okay, well, we'll just walk to the taxi stand because it's close, right? And they were like, yeah, just like pull out and take a left. And then, um, I don't know what they thought they meant by left, but it was like, how far of a walk do you think that was? It's at least 15 minutes. Yeah, so it was like a 15 minute walk, like, into town. And then there was no taxi, so we, like, went up to, like, a tourist stand and said, like, can you call us a taxi? And she was like, oh, well, like, they're really expensive, you know that, right? And we were like, oh, that's, like, yeah, that's fine whatever like but what is really expensive and she was like oh like three or four hundred euros we were like never mind so then we walked to the train station and got a train for like 15 euros each or total each that was really pleasant really easy we both like took a power nap and then on the way back we were so tired we almost missed it we were like sitting down and just zoned out and we had to run and catch it and it was so packed there was nowhere to sit so we just stood for an hour and everyone was hot and then at one point everyone thinks we speak Italian for some reason like they just start speaking rapid Italian to us and I don't know it's like <coughs> it's kind of funny but so we're just like standing there and everyone's like trying to talk to us and then at one point like the train kind of stops and then everyone ye yells in Italian and we're all, like we just look at each other like what did they just say? So we're like looking around, like English, English, and they're like, oh, broken. So Bridget was like, the train's broken, and they were like, oh, oh sick. But it was fine. It ended up working, but we didn't get home until like 10 o'clock, and we went to bed at midnight, so we had to sleep in a little bit. But anyways, that was a recap of day one. Day two, we have less time, but we're going to go ice skating, eat some more food, and that's the plan, so...
pretty cool. It's about time to head back. It's been a day, a very quick day. Hello, hello. It is Monday night. We are just hanging out in the bed. We uh, were watching a movie and I thought I would end the day here. So we, I said last I spoke, we said we were going to go ice skating and I mean, check off a few other things on the list. So we raced into Rome and I think one thing I have not specified is that we are on a cruise. It is different than a typical cruise. So my friend Bridget, who I'm here with, she just started a job with a travel agency. Um, I don't have the full understanding and details, but it's very interesting. It's really cool. So she got invited on this trip as a familiar, familiar, <laughs> why can I not pronounce it? Familiarization. Familiarization trip. And she got to bring a guest and her husband wasn't able to come so she invited me so here we are and it's supposed to be like a small luxury trip in um europe it's through the mediterranean sea so you'll have to watch to see where we end up going next but um so we flew in saturday did sunday and then today was monday so two days in rome and it's very different so i think a typical cruise ship holds thousands of people like we actually passed another cruise ship that had 7,000 people this one can only hold like 300 and something people plus staff but what we're noticing is we've seen like two other guests other than like the 10 people that are with the travel group so and we're not like required to hang out with them or anything so we get to be kind of doing our own thing and then we might get dinner with them in the evenings but it's been very quiet which is nice and this is the first winter cruise that this cruise ship has done so i think people might not know about it but anyways uh there's the scoop on that so we um are on a boat <laughs> if you didn't know i feel like you probably could have figured that out but anyway so there was some travel time from here to rome so we realized that we had to be back on the boat this evening by 5 30 so we and it's about an hour commute into rome like on the train so we raced to the train station got on got to rome and then went to the ice skating rink immediately and then realized which by the time we got to rome we realized we had two hours before we needed to go back to the train station so we went to the ice skating rink and they were closed so i mean we were like definitely bummed because they don't open until the evenings i guess because it's like lit up but we were definitely bummed but then we were like honestly it's okay because we don't have very much time anyways so then we walked to the Vatican to see the nativity scene set up there. And there was a gorgeous, insanely tall Christmas tree that was real. And that was very pretty. It's just breathtaking in person. It's kind of hard to describe unless you're just sitting there and you can feel it. And then we wanted to see the Spanish steps. But it was either between that or the Colosseum. And we really wanted to see the Colosseum in person again. Because <laughs> we've actually both seen the Colosseum before. But it's just, again, one of those things that you... It never gets old. So... We, did we taxi or walk? We taxied. Uh, yeah, so to, to save time, we taxied around. Uh, we went to the Coliseum. We did like a 360 around it because we thought there was supposed to be a big famous Christmas tree lit up. And I even Googled it. And, but I think this year that it wasn't there for some reason. So that was kind of disappointing. But I mean, it's Coliseum, so it's fine. And then taxied back to the train station, grabbed some like snacks, took the train back, and then came back and went to like this cocktail hour thing and then ordered room service right there there's bridget <laughs> <laughs> and then i came back and talked to cecil and i think she's gonna talk to her husband probably and then we're gonna shower and go to bed and we will wake up in a new part of italy tomorrow so i'll let you know how that goes the boat took off tonight around six and neither of us have ever been on a cruise ship so it's been really weird the boat is like swaying and neither of us know how we feel about it i think so and we ate too much so then we were both like oh my gosh we don't feel good and then it's like Ugh. but the boat is much smaller that's one thing i was saying it's much smaller than a regular cruise ship so anyways there you go talk to you tomorrow good morning look at that view it is not even showing up on camera. 
It is so pretty. The sky is like purpley pink. Like, my gosh. We think we're docking right over there. I looked on a map. And that is Livorno. Very, very pretty. She's getting a time lapse of the sunrise for work. Getting ready to tie it off at the dock. Oh, you're right. Breakfast time. Got some yogurt. Okay. The view. Yeah. We are officially in Livorno. We are at the train station and we are headed to Pisa. We're going to go see the Leaning Tower and get, you know, like the photos. I don't know. Bridget, have you been there already? Nope. No. Okay. I have been, but it's been almost 10 years, so I need an updated photo for sure. Um, that's supposed to take, I don't know, like only 30 minutes or so. Apparently there's not much um, in the actual like little town. So just gonna go see the tower and then we were thinking about heading into Luca, which is where my sister used to live. She lived there for a summer, like seven years ago. So I went and flew out um, when I was 18 spend a couple weeks out there so that would be really cool to see again and grab for a souvenir so I think that's the plan and then we're gonna come back to Livorno tonight and see the Christmas market so we have a nice full day I think some other people are going into Florence because that's a couple of hours away so exciting stuff it feels much safer here it's empty I would not be filming with my camera out if there's people around so tip keep stuff hidden Kind of go around. Oh my gosh, look at that view! Stunning. There was a lot of stairs. She got a really cool time lapse though. I'll try to post that later. Very, very cool. I mean, stick my camera through this gap. Kind of. We did it. Going back down is much easier. It's very wet in here. So you gotta be very careful and wear shoes with really good tread. 
or you will slip. We made it to Luca. We got about an hour to eat. We started with some pastries from this bakery. And I just stepped in some dog poop, so now I smell. Yay. Off to find some pizza. Officially woke up in Nice, France. It is beautiful. Hold on, I'm stepping outside. Look at that. Beautiful. I mean, this might be the best view yet. Wow. So, we are headed to go eat breakfast, and then we are going to go to Monte Carlo for the day, I think. Ignore our really messy room, but exciting stuff. And then we're going to go to the Christmas market in Nice tonight. So excited. Looks a little chilly, so I'm going to bundle up and head out. Alright, we are in Monte Carlo. Monaco. The view already. I'm kind of short, but that's where we're headed. The casino. It's very pretty. There is just some beautiful architecture. And a lot of very nice cars and buildings. So, ooh, what is this? Ooh, they're soft. They look like berries. Oh, darn. Cecil has a plant app. And I always I let one. him scan it and see what they are. I have one. It almost feels like, like a raspberry wood, but then they're... Yeah, really squishy. Yeah. Let's find out. It's a fascia. Or a fascia. Oh, wait. Oops, I'm zoomed in. Oh, darn. So it's nothing you can eat. Not that I would just eat it, no. but just curious. Okay, that's cute. Never seen that. Y'all, I'm gonna die. Do you see those snow globes? This is the casino. This is insane. There's the coast. There's like shopping. And then that's where we just came from with This is so pretty. We just left the, how do you say it, patisserie. patisserie. The patisserie. We had, oh look, there's an orange tree. Pretty. Yes, we just left. And uh, we had cappuccinos and eclairs. And I can actually say, I wasn't expecting that much, but that was, is that private property? 
that was the best eclair I've ever had, like actually. I don't normally even like eclairs and that was really good. And then I tried a chocolate croissant, so it was very good, really cute little bakery. It said it was from 1955. So now we're going to the, we're going to see a Formula One monument. We are? Yeah. Oh, what is it? It's a little statue or like a car statue of a Formula One car. Oh, okay. At the beach? Is that where it it's, is? Yeah, it's like near the shore. A okay. Bit. Well, that's where we're going now. Monte Carlo is beautiful. So, I don't want to leave yet. Oh. But we'll be back in Nice tonight to see the Christmas market. So, toodaloo till then. Oh my gosh, it is. Do you think we could ride it? I want to get on. Probably. We found another Christmas market, Monte Carlo, and there is the Ferris wheel. Let's see if you can see. There's like all these little, I'll have to film some as we go, I guess. Said it was for kids. Oh, that's so cute. Ooh, you want one? Look, it's a slide. Guys, you can ride it in an ornament. We're gonna go up on the Ferris wheel, I think. This is insane. We're going up. It was six euros. Pretty good. We're moving. Okay, I'm gonna go film. We just got to the Christmas market in Nice. Look at, oh Bridget, look at the tree. We haven't even seen that part. Well, we were so distracted because, um, hello. Beautiful, she got mulled wine and I just got a little hot chocolate. We're gonna walk around and they have like the little bouncing balls. We'll go see what else we can find. Wow, I mean, we feel so blessed. So blessed. This is incredible. I can't, I can't explain how it feels to be here in person. Truly. Thursday morning and we are in Greece. Very pretty. We just found the little sign that says I love Nice. It's really pretty. It actually feels pretty warm out today. <clears throat> We're gonna walk into Old Town and do some shopping. We had a little work thing to go to this morning for her. 
um, it was like a social media and marketing meeting and then she went and took a tour of the boat and saw some of the other rooms so she could grab some Thank photos goodness. and things like that. So I grabbed some breakfast and I think we're gonna go try and find some crits. <laughs> I, we do not have good accents and we have figured that out very fast by locals. So anyways, it is just, I mean, truly that's kind of unreal. It's very pretty. I should get some video with my camera. Anyways, that's the day. <laughs> I just got that. I don't think he. I don't know who he is. That's fine. Weird. Yeah, these pebbles. That dog is just going crazy. It is Friday morning, beautiful church. We just got off the ship and had breakfast. We are walking into Marseille and we don't know too much of what to do. We're just gonna look and see. There's um, like a really pretty, what, what was it? Like a tower to go yes, up to, um, but it's a 45 minute walk. And it is frigid. It is very cold. It's like, when we woke up, it said it felt like 39 out, I think, so. Yeah, I would say it's um, like 45. It's really chilly. I'm hoping to get to the sun. My fingers hurt. But anyways, that's the plan. And then we have a very quick day today. The, we have to be back on the boat by 4.30, but there's technically like a work meeting at 3.45, which is a bummer. So we're hoping it's just like a small area. And um, I want to find a cheesy shirt that says France. So that's the goal today. Saturday? Saturday morning. I think it's been a minute since we filmed anything. We went to Marseille yesterday. I think I started that video yesterday. So I think I said hello yesterday. We had a really short day. We ended up just walking around um, and tried to find some shopping. We like stopped in a little place for lunch and then we did stumble into both Christmas markets. Got some really good um, macarons macaroons um they looked homemade so we we stopped and got those and they were incredible and um what else did we do just kind of shopped yeah we didn't really do too much to be honest i think a day was plenty uh bridget had to be back by 3 45 for a work thing so i went to the room and talked to cecil and she did that so we both got to rest and then we went to dinner um at the restaurant and came back and it was very rocky last night like it was bad it was probably the worst yet at one point her and i both woke up and we're like did you hear that <laughs> because something had like fallen and like flown off some table and we were we didn't know what it was the first thing i did is run up and check my camera it was okay but it was just like a magazine holder that had fallen but anyways i got like five hours of sleep so we're gonna go see barcelona we're docked for the night and like airport tomorrow so we're gonna go soak it all up and fit in as much as we possibly can we just docked it's 10 a.m and we are ready to have fun
There's all the meat that you were talking about, Bridget. Look. It's got its foot on it still. Nasty. This is pretty. Look at all the lights. stopped at a little tacos restaurant. I'll show you in a second. I don't know what we ordered, but we ordered a bunch of stuff and then asked her what um, she recommended. And then we got two, oops, two glasses of sangria. So I'll show you what we get in just a minute. Just got our sangria. That looks so good. Wait, try it. Oh, pretty straw. Mm. How's it taste? Like here in Spain? Much better than the US. I bet. Okay, I did not try it on video, but it is really good. It tastes like very orangey. Yeah. Very citrusy. It is really good. Mmm. Now that is the setup. Oh, he's putting lights on that tree, you see? Yeah, yeah, he's putting the lights on. That's pretty. Aw. More ornaments. Oh, there's a plane. So big. These say it. They're just really, really cheap. Which I guess would work. <laughs> Xmas. So funny. I'll find the right thing. That's pretty. I love the pots, but these are cute. They're itty bitty. Oh, look. Those. Oh, I like that one. They're precious. Like, look at the size next to my hands. Oh, it's like a little sewing machine. <gasps> Bridget, look at the scissors. And the iron behind it. <laughs> These are adorable. Oh, there's like a little art thing. I guess there's more booths down there. Oh. What kind are you getting? Are you getting Nutella? Wait. Oh, I didn't see those. Oh, little small one. Or the big one. Mm. This one's cold. I want to try one of those. Very good. Warm. 
I like those Nutella though. Sagrada Familia. Okay. Very pretty. All the detail even from down here. They're still working on it. Wow. Look at the star on the left side. Do you see that? Oh yeah. That's so pretty. the stained glass. Wow. It's like uh, tree branches to me. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, do they? Okay. Makes sense. It's, it's so interesting. All the windows everywhere, like in weird spots. Like, yeah, like. Very unique. There's a star, spiral staircase. It's a very unique style. about 10 o'clock at night um, we had a wonderful day we walked like 14 miles in one day so we are so ready to sit down and relax and shower I'm trying to think what we even did I think we fit in so much we went to a little um, like antique market I got this ring in the middle that's pretty and then I got um, a couple of things for some other people there. After that, we walked around and got some lunch and got tapas and sangria, which was fantastic. I think that, besides dinner, was my favorite part the food. It's a very artsy place, we realized. Um, lots of young people and just kind of a fun vibe with music. And we walked down the streets and saw... We walked down the streets and saw... Um, like all the good shopping and lights and then what else did we do in the meantime? I feel like I'm forgetting something. We, we ate Christmas markets? Oh, yeah. But then we ran into the Christmas markets and then we went into that really famous church that they're still building and Sagrada Familia. Sagrada Familia. Um we also saw the Barcelona Cathedral, but only from the outside. We did not go in. But we did go into the other one. That one was super interesting. Uh, I kind of liked it better from the outside, personally. Uh, but, I mean, still amazing. 
And then we decided we were exhausted and we needed to sit down. So we found a dinner spot on the way back to the boat. And 10 out of 10, it was so good. We got sangria again. And then this time we got pasta with meat sauce. And then we ended the night with hot chocolate and churros. It was so good. We're so full. So tired. So I'm going to go shower, get in bed, and pack my suitcase. And we will see you at the airport tomorrow.